Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to our timely named webinar, Still Your Boss's Heart. My colleague Ryan and I are going to teach you how to generate a quote using Conga Composer with a single button click. We assume you are here because you would like to create a quote solution that will still your boss's heart. <laughs> Our goal in the next 30 minutes is to show you how to create a solution that you can put in place today or at least by Friday afternoon in case you are a procrastinator um, that will in fact steal your boss's heart just in time for Valentine's Day. Um, so thanks again for joining us. Uh, just a quick note, you guys can submit questions via the chat window and go to meeting. Uh, we will try to answer all of your questions during this session, but if we don't get to all of your questions, we will follow up with you um, after the webinar directly. Um, so stay tuned for that if we don't get to your question. Don't worry, we will reach out to you for sure. So let's go ahead and do some introductions. My name is Teresa Bowerly, and I am the Learning and Development Specialist here at Conga. And I've been working for Conga for about four years. Um, Ryan, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yes, thank you, Teresa. My name is Ryan Burke, and I am also a Learning and Development Specialist here at Conga. And I've been with Conga for coming up on two years now, and I feel privileged to be able to be on this webinar with you and talk about stealing your boss's heart for Valentine's Day. Teresa, do we have a poll question that we can launch? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and launch a poll question for our audience today. Um, the question is, what quote generation challenges do you currently face at your company? Um, so go ahead and choose all of the answers that apply to your current situation. So go ahead and pick as many as you'd like. And once we get those answers rolling in, we'll kind of review what those answers are here. All right. So we've got some answers coming in. Looks like some people say we need consistency in our quoting programs. Um, we need to generate efficiency. Um, we need security in our quoting process. Looks like we need some sophistication. Um, let's see. All right. So 71% say we need customization in our quoting process, and 86% say we need consistency. All right, so those are some um, great things to kind of work towards as you're generating your quoting solutions. Um, Ryan, do you kind of want to further talk about more of what we're going to do today? Yeah, thank you. So that's interesting. Number one request I'm seeing here is consistency, followed with a tie between efficiency and customization. So I have good news for you that Conga Composer can provide all of that for you in a single quote solution. So we're going to look at how we can do that. And before we do that though, I want to take a step back and just look at what Conga Composer is in case nobody's or in case somebody is not familiar with it. And then we can kind of zoom narrow in on this one quote solution and see if we can put something in place that's going to hit all of these uh, quote generation challenges that you have expressed you have at your company. So what is Conga Composer? Conga Composer is our flagship product. It's a document generation and reporting tool for uh, Salesforce. And how it works is it can it can uh, get data from any object and merge it into your own custom format and you can see all the different file types we support there along with multiple delivery options. And then you can even do this on your schedule or on demand and uh, have this schedule to be creating uh, documents out of Salesforce. Today we're going to look at, yes. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Perfect. So what you should have been looking at was this infographic showing what Conga Composer is. So as I was saying, to summarize real quick, it is our flagship product, and you can get data from any object in Salesforce into your own custom templates. So now you can see the template types that we support, and then you have multiple delivery options as well for distributing that merged document. And this is something that you can automate and have scheduled to either happen on a schedule with no user interaction or on demand as well as needed. So today we are going to look specifically at a quote solution. This solution is not going to utilize all of the features that you see here, but we think it's important for you to know everything that Composer 
can do. So that's why we, we like to show that graphic and go over that with you. So why should you choose Conga to steal your boss's heart? That's a great question. This list here is by no means exhaustive, but the, these are a few things that I want to highlight that I think makes Conga Composer a great quote generation solution. Firstly, you can instantly create and send sophisticated quotes. I'm still looking at the poll results here, and many of you said you need sophistication in your quoting process. For example, I don't know how many of you are paying Conga customers, but if you have ever received a quote from us, you received a very sophisticated quote document. Now, it doesn't look sophisticated on your end, and that's on purpose. We don't want a confusing quote document for our customers to look at. But on our end, what our quote template is doing is very sophisticated. There's logic built into that document that is based off of business rules that is showing different uh, price breakpoints and it's grouping uh, licenses and products into specific groups and tables. So it's doing a lot of stuff in that quote. And so that's the first reason I have here for why Conga is a good choice for your quote solution uh, process. Secondly, you can easily present a fully customizable quote. And again, customization is something that was expressed as a need at your company. So you can completely customize your quotes, including advanced formatting options. That is going to help make your quote document um, customized for what you need. So for example, if you are an international company and you need to be showing prices in a different currency, you can do that with some of the advanced formatting options with Conga templates. My third item I have listed here is regarding eliminating quoting errors. So I'm sure an easy way to steal your boss's heart is to get rid of some of those errors in the quoting process. You certainly don't want to be sending quotes to customers that are not correct. So by automating this process and merging into a secure format, you are able to eliminate a lot of those quoting errors that you might deal with at your company. Why listen to us, though, about why Conga Composer is so great when you can hear it directly from our customers? We had a customer leave this comment on the App Exchange. Dustin said, honestly, our sales reps love this product. They love to say, I'll Conga that right now. It has changed their quote creation process for proposals from 30 plus minutes to less than three minutes. I'm sure realizing a, times, a time saving of that amount is another way that you're going to steal your boss's heart. So let's take a look at how you can put in place a similar solution that's going to solve some of these quote generation problems at your company. I'm going to show you how to do so in four simple steps, and then I'm going to demo a solution that I've already put in place, and then we can conclude our time together with some questions. So the four steps, how do you do it? How do you put in place a quote solution like one I am describing. Well, it's easy, as that heart says up there. Once you've installed Conga Composer into your Salesforce org, you would create your quote solution by first creating a Conga Composer button and placing it on a page layout. The solution we're going to show you today has a button built on the opportunity object, which seems like a logical place to put a quote solution. You could also do this on the quote object, though. Once you've built and placed that button on the page layout, that's going to allow you to launch your Composer solution, so launch the Conga Composer dialog box. And from there, you can access other tools, such as the Template Builder, and that would be the second step in the process of building out this quote solution, is building your template. We have templates pre-built for you that you can select from on our support website, and I will give you that resource a little later on. The picture you see here here is one of our pre-built templates. So I think they look really nice and there is a, a whole variety to choose from in uh, a variety of formats as well. You could also start from scratch or customize this template if you want to use ours but make a couple tweaks to it. You can certainly do that. And as I mentioned, the template builder, which is accessed from the Composer button, is a very powerful tool to help you with the development of templates. Today we're focusing more on the configuration of a quote solution rather than building the templates that go along with it. But I can certainly point out to you what this template looks like, a little bit of how it works, and then where you would go to build your own template. The third step here is adding parameters. 
Now, if you wanted to, you could jump directly into the fourth step, which is clicking the merge button and running that merge process to merge your quoting data into this template. But back to our poll question, looks like most of us are trying to solve a variety of issues. So one of the ways that you can do that is by customizing your solution with parameters in order to uh, have it um, use a variety of features in Composer Solution to kill multiple birds with one stone uh, in just this single solution. So I'm going to show you how you would add parameters. And then I'll also show you, Teresa, be sure to remind me where you can go to find the list of our parameters that are available to use in your quote solution. So are you ready to see it in, in action? I think so. Let's jump into a Salesforce demo org, org I have ready here. So I can select it. There we go. And I'm going to show you this solution that I built using those exact four steps I just showed you. And this solution, I think, meets most of the requirements that you guys have expressed you have in terms of building a quote generation solution. So here we are on an opportunity record. This is for the Burlington Textiles Weaving Plant Generator Opportunity. And if any of you have spent any time in dev orgs, you would probably be familiar with this dummy account. This is just some dummy data. Notice, though, that we have a list of products here as part of this opportunity. Our opportunity is in the prospecting stage. And you can see that we don't have a whole lot of activity here, no attachments. So uh, this is a pretty straightforward opportunity account. We do have down at the bottom here a contact listed. So we have a primary contact for this opportunity. And that person is Jack Rogers, also another uh, contact that, that comes in most uh, dev orgs. So here's the button that I have created for my quote solution. I created this button within Salesforce Setup. And I did so by copying the standard button that comes installed with the Conga Composer package. So if I jump into Salesforce Setup, I can show you the standard button really quickly. And it is right here. You will have this sample button in your Conga Composer package. To create your own custom button, you simply copy and paste this base URL is what we call these first four lines of the button URL. You would copy that and then return to the button's links and actions page, click new button or link, and then paste that URL into the URL field name the button, and save it. That's what I've done for this quote button that you see on my opportunity record. And that button is right here. We'll look more in depth at the URL in just a second. Once you've created the button, an important next step is to add the button to your page layout. So again, I've done that already by going to Edit Layout, going to the Buttons section, and finding the button that you just created up here, the Composer button, and drag it into the Custom Buttons region and save. That was step number one. Step number two is the template. So when I launch my quote solution, it's going to give me the Conga Composer user interface from which I can then go to Tools and Settings and select the Template Builder, which is right here. And the Template Builder, especially the new Template Builder that is part of Conga Composer Release 8, it's a really slick graphical user interface that essentially lets you drag and drop merge fields into your quote template that you are creating. I have already, or I'm already using a pre-built template, and I mentioned that there's a template library where you can uh, select sample templates from. Let me show you where that's at. If you go to congasphere.com, and you'll see a link here called Getting Started. If you click on this link, it's going to bring you to a bunch of great resources for getting started with Conga Composer, one of which is the template library. So by going to the template library link, you'll see a list of all of these different templates categorized by different solutions that you can use in your Composer solutions. And there's a variety of template types here. So for quotes, if I scroll down a little bit, here's a variety of word template, um, word quote templates that you can use. And you can see there's a bunch of other ones here as well. As I said, we are using just a pre-built standard quote template built in a Word document. So that would be step number two. Use our pre-built template um, or take our pre-built template, customize it for your specific needs. Or lastly, you can also build from scratch using the template builder. Let me show you real quick, quickly also what our quote template looks like that we are using in this demo. 
So this quote template would be for a fictitious company called Worlds Away, and you can see within our template we have a bunch of merge fields for different information related to this quote and to this opportunity. And in the table, we're, you're going to see in the output a list of those products that I showed you already on the opportunity record. So those are going to merge into here, and we have other information about the account and information about our our company, about the Worlds Away company. And it all looks nice and clean. This is a great template that you can use, and it's all pre-built for you. So what's the third step that I showed you in creating this solution? It's adding parameters. So parameters are settings that control the behavior of your solution, and they are added into your button URL using this convention, ampersand, the name of the parameter, an equal sign, and then a value that you are going to assign to that parameter, and the values vary depending on what parameters you are using. So you can see again that I've already added my parameters for this solution. I'll talk through real quickly what these different parameters do. Let me answer before I forget though the question you probably have, which is where do how do I figure out what parameters I want to add to my solution? That's a great question. And the answer is back to our support page again, congasphere.com. If I go back to the home page, there's a link here for index of parameters. If you click on that link, it's going to take you to a page that lists out all of the parameters that are available to use with Conga Composer. And there's a lot of them. Don't let it um, scare you off at all. Just look at the categories, and you can think and learn about the types of things you can do with parameters, such as log activities, operate in background mode, which is a form of automation that I'm going to get to um, at the end of our webinar today. There's integration parameters to integrate with e-signature -sig e um, partners and e-signature solutions chatter parameters, email parameters, parameters specific to the different template types you can use. So there's a whole array of things that you can do to customize your solutions. And this is a great resource for where you can go to see what parameters you can use and what values you need to use with those different parameters. Let's talk through what I've chosen to add to this quote solution for our purposes today. And then we're going to run it and take a look at uh, what the output of our quote solution is. Firstly, I pre-selected this quote template, so that same template I just showed you. I uploaded it into the Conga Template Manager, so if I jump to a different tab here, you can see within the Conga Composer application in Salesforce, there's a bunch of custom tabs here, and one of them says Conga Templates. Right here is this quote template, so I simply created a new template record, named it, saved it, and then uploaded my template as an attachment to this record. When I do that, I get a template ID, which is the last 15 characters of the URL right here. And that ID is what I used for the value of this template ID parameter. So that's going to pre-select my quote template to use in the quote solution. And that's important. It's great to have it pre-selected for you, but it's even more important because when we get to the mode of adding automation to the solution so that we can run our quote solution with a single click of the button, you that's a prerequisite to doing that. So you, Composer has got to know what template to merge data into if you're going to run the solution in what we call background mode in that type of, of one-click automation. So it's, an, it's important for a couple of different reasons. I have also employed a second template. It's a Conga email template. That's what this parameter here is. And don't let that confuse you. You do not need to use a second template, but it's kind of a nice solution. Uh, to use a second template here, what this template is doing is in addition to merging my quote data into that Word document, no I don't want to improve performance, sorry about that, in addition to merging data into the quote template that's going to be an attachment on my email, I'm also going to merge data directly into the subject line and body of the email that's going to go out. And so this is just a quick way to do it with a, with a, second, um, with a second email template. Next, I have some other features that I've added in terms of how I want to customize the document itself, the quote document itself. So I'm going to have this quote document be generated as a PDF. So the template is a Word template, and you have a choice on the Conga Composer user interface. Let me show you it real quickly. Right here, for your output options, I can choose what file type I want my output document to be. So if you choose the radio button for same as template, it's going to be a Word document because the template is a Word, uh, it's a Word template, or you can output as Adobe PDF. So this goes back to the consistency and the security aspects of our, of our quote solution. The best, most secure format 
for a quote that we want to be distributing to customers is going to be in a PDF. So we can automatically make that selection using that default PDF parameter. And what that parameter does by giving it this value of one, by giving it the value of one, it is going to be pre-selecting this option on the on the Conga Composer user interface for me. I'm also giving my output file a unique name. So there's a parameter called OFN that stands, that stands for output file name. And the value here is the name I want to give to this file. So I'm going to tell this file, my output document, the quote, to be called quote four. And then I'm going to dynamically merge the name of the account associated with this opportunity. So I have the account name directly there in the quote file name. Additionally, and you can see I have these spaced out. We always recommend spacing out the parameters and grouping them based on what they do. It's not a requirement. It's not going to affect the behavior of your solution, but it's just easier for us to read. So in my next grouping, I have these AC parameters. This stands for activity logging. So in addition to pre-selecting the templates, outputting the template as a PDF and naming that PDF file, I'm then going to log activities in Salesforce. So this first parameter simply turns on activity logging, and then I'm going to give a subject to the activity that gets logged. So I want the activity to say, this quote was sent and then today's date. My next group in here is for save a copy. So I am also going to log the activity, and then I want to save a copy of this document that gets generated, and you can choose multiple places to save a copy of the document, such as the notes and attachments on the record from which it was generated. And that's what I've selected here by putting attachments as the value on this second save a copy parameter. But you could also save it to Salesforce content, Chatter. Um, and we even have a Google Drive integration. So if your company uses Google, you could save these documents directly into Google Drive. We're almost through here. So the last couple options here I've added is to update fields. So talk about killing multiple birds with one stone, if I can use that uh, that phrase, we are going to log activity, or I'm sorry, we're going to update fields when we run this, this uh, quote solution. So what I have specified here is to update the stage name field on my opportunity to negotiation review. So if I go back to my Burlington Textiles opportunity, I can see the stage is that prospecting, as it should be, because we haven't moved forward with this deal. But once I send the quote, I'm going to want this to update for the next status, which I just chose for this demo to be pro negotiating and review. And so that's a great way that you can do multiple things at once with a single solution. As I've already mentioned, we're going to email this document. So probably in 90% of the cases, you want to email the quote you're generating. You're not just going to hang on to it for your own purposes. You need to send it to your customer. So what's really neat here about the Kongen Composer 8 user interface is I have a related contact up here. The related contact is Jack Rogers. You remember him? Who, who is he? He was the primary contact on my record. So this quote is going to be sent directly to Jack Rogers. And so that's why the action associated here on my user interface is already set to email. And really what's driving that is the fact that I'm using an, an HTML email template because Composer sees email, so it knows to switch all of this stuff to email. It's an easy change to make manually as well on the user interface. Uh, simply by selecting it in the drop-down. But changing the action here is going to change my button to say merge and email. Otherwise, it would usually say merge and download if you're simply going to download the output. So with merge and email, this is now the fourth step that I presented to you. After we have added a button, created the template, added parameters to customize, we are now ready to run the solution. And you can do so by clicking the merge and email button. So I'm clicking it now, and it's running the merge process. It's taking the information from this opportunity record, so all these different products I just showed you. It's merging it into my quote template. It just outputted it as a PDF and attached it to my email. So here's my attachment down here for the PDF. And we can see a nice preview of what that looks like. Also notice the file name is set to quote for, and then the opportunity account name, which in this case is Burlington Textiles Corp of America. Here is the HTML email template part of this. I have a subject already merged into the subject line of this email. I also have a very simple body of the email which was merged using merge fields. So here the name Jack got merged into my salutation of the email. All I have to do now is click send. And what we should expect to see is an email sent from me to Jack Rogers. I have my email open in a different tab here. So let's jump over there. And we will wait excitedly. Here it is. So I just got my quote sent by Composer. 
we just saw this body of the email, so here's the body of the email, and here is my quote for Burlington Textiles, Corporate of America. If I open it up, I can see this template we looked at earlier with just merge fields in it. Now we can see the merge data from this opportunity record. I have my list of products. I have pricing here. Note again that if you need to customize your quote solutions for your currency of your culture, that can happen automatically with advanced formatting options in the template itself. So I'm just seeing dollars here, but it could very well be showing euros or pounds or something else. And I have my information for my org up at top here, and of course Jack's information over on the side. Pretty cool that that all happened so smoothly. Let me jump back into Salesforce again and show you what else happened. If I refresh my record, I can see that, look at my stage. The stage for this opportunity just updated automatically to negotiation review. That's really handy if you're going to uh, use, if you want to update workflow status fields along with Conga Composer, you can do that as well. And then if we scroll down, you can see that I now have act activities have been logged. I get one activity logged automatically for sending the email, so I have that here but I also have an activity that says quote sent and then today's date. That's because using those parameters, I told it to log an activity with this subject name and so that's what it did. You can also see in my notes and attachments area, I have a copy of this quote that was saved automatically to the notes and attachments section of this record. And so it's right here with that name that I, that unique name that I gave to the output document. I think that's pretty, a pretty slick solution. Now, I don't want you to feel disappointed because in the title of this webinar, we said generate a solution with one click. And I actually took a couple clicks to do this, right? You just watched me click through. It was really easy, but you might have been hoping to see something even easier. Well, I have good news for you. We can do something even easier. Let's jump back to my button URL. And I did not, you might have noticed, I did not talk about this final parameter. DS7 is our background mode parameter. So with zero as the value, it's going to disable background mode. I'm now going to enable it by giving this parameter a value, and I'm going to run the solution one more time and show you the one-click functionality. And that is really going to be what steals your boss's heart. So let me give this a value of 12. Where would you figure out what value to apply to that parameter? You could go look at that article right on the congosphere.com support page and you can look up background mode parameters and find the value that you want. The value of 12 is going to run in background mode and automatically email the document. So if we go back to the record again, and when I launch my solution this time, we're not going to see the Conga Composer user interface. Instead, we're going to bypass the interface and it's going to jump directly into document generation and it's going to send the email all from a single click. Are you ready? Here we go. Let me click the button. And this time we see the background mode dialog box, which is just a small window. It's going to pop up briefly while it merge the doc merges the document. Then it's going to email it. And it's going to do all the same things we told it to do before. So it's going to save a copy of the document. It's going to log an activity. And the stage is already updated, so you won't see anything different there. But all of that has just happened. And let me go back into my email, and let's see if I got another email. I did. I have two emails here now. And that second one was generated from a single click of the button. So that is a great way to please your boss and hopefully steal his or her heart. Let me jump back into my PowerPoint slides. And we're bumping up at the end of the webinar. So, sorry, I'm trying to find the right one there. So I think it's a good time for questions. As we said before, we're not going to be able to answer all the questions. And I only see a handful right now. So uh, maybe we will answer all the questions. Uh, but if you do have any question about what you've just seen, be sure to put it in the chat window because then we can follow up separately with you after the webinar and be sure to get you an answer. So, Teresa, are you seeing any questions? Yes. Um, one of the questions is about images. So the uh, person is asking, are you able to add images to your quotes, so such as like a partner logo or your market logo um, in that background, kind of like you showed on our quote that you're using for the demo? Great question, and yes, you can. There's a couple different ways to do it. Like what you saw in my demonstration, I had a static image. So that image already existed in my template prior to running the merge process. So if you want to slap your own logo on your, on your quote document, absolutely go ahead and stick it in there in the Word document, and it's going to still be there when you look at the output. The other way to do it is you can actually merge images 
So you would need to have that image uploaded on some sort of external server where you can access the URL of the image. And then there is a special merge field to use in your template that says include picture. And it's going to merge that picture as if it would, just like it merges data into a merge field, it, you can merge a picture into a merge field as well into your template. So those are the two different ways you could do that. Okay. I see another question from Audrey about, she, Audrey's asking, can you get several opportunities on one proposal? And if I'm understanding your question right, the answer is yes. So one of our automation tools, so if you look back or think back to that graphic I showed you early on, and it was showing a flexible, uh, flexible delivery options and then automation options, one way you could create multiple proposals for multiple opportunities is by using one of our automation add-on products called Conga Conductor. And so what Conga Conductor will do is once you've built this quote solution, you can then specify entire batches of opportunity records that you want to run against that quote solution. So you are essentially all at once running batches of different records through your quote solution to generate multiple quotes or multiple proposals at the same time. So if that's what you're asking, Audrey, yes, that you can certainly do that. And Pam is asking about, do the automated emails work with Google, Google Apps email? Uh, Pam, I think I'd have to know more about exactly what you're asking in terms of Google Apps email. Um, it, are you asking, can you send the email through your Google email account? If that's what you're asking, I'm, I'm not sure. I, the email is going to come from your user account within your Salesforce org. So um, I'm not sure about that. We'll follow up with a definite answer. But we, as I already said, we do have Google integration. So it sounds like your company uses Google. And you can definitely save those documents in Google. And we have actually a pretty new security token um, that is going to allow you to connect your Gmail or your Google account to, within Salesforce. So there is definitely a tight integration there. And we can follow up with a more specific answer. Um, and maybe you can, we can elaborate offline and talk more about what you are trying to do specifically. You're very welcome. Well, with that, I think we are at the end of our time together. So it was a quick demo, but I hope you all found it helpful. And I feel confident now that you can, in fact, steal your boss's heart by creating a quote solution using Conga Composer. And if you get lucky, you might even get a hug from your boss, too, if you really steal his heart. <laughs> Teresa, they are all going to get a follow-up email from this webinar, right? Yes. Um, you all will receive probably in the next couple of days a follow-up email with a link to this recording. So just in case you want to watch it again or share it with some other colleagues, um, you will get that email to you um, as well. So we'll go ahead and look out for that. I think it'll probably um, you should probably receive it by Thursday at the very latest. Great. Thank you, Teresa. Well, if you have any other questions, um, put them in the chat window. We'll follow up. And you can, of course, always reach out to us at support at congamerge.com. And we are happy to help you with your quote solution and any other composer solutions you might be putting in place at your company. Thank you for your time together. And I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. We will talk to you later.